hello there good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching this in the globe welcome to nana's classic stitches channel if you are new welcome and thank you for clicking my subscribers and returnees too thank you so much i really do appreciate it thank you for returning and watching my videos and sharing thank you today I'm going to talk to you about this pants. As I spoke to you about it last week, we're going to be sewing this next week. So it's a M5817. M5817. And we're going to be doing this pant. So I'm going to talk to you about how to take your measurements. Some of you might know and some of you might not. So, and it's a baggy pen, so it's easy. You don't need that much or many measurements. Comparing, comparing to this one, okay? This one is straightforward, baggy pen. Now, to take your measurements, you will need elastic, tape measure or measurement tape and a pant your own pant that really fits you well or you feel comfortable in it wearing okay your own pant now i'm gonna walk you through it with my mini mannequin i did it before and i was doing the inseam where my fingers and everything was going was so inappropriate so I had to delete all the video and start all over but anyway the elastic put it around your waist and tie it up the elastic could be a quarter or three eight width okay tie it around your waist and there and now you have to decide where you want your waistband to start okay or without your waistband yet so some people like it upper hip okay so with the waistband starting at this end or without the waistband starting at this end you have to make that decision okay some people as i said some people don't like it at the waist I prefer it at the waist so I'm gonna start measuring it from the waist up down okay when you see me looking at my uh, left hand side I'm checking up my notes okay thank you first of all take your waist and write it down okay your inseam as I said when I did it at first, it wasn't looking appropriate. So I'll, the inseam, the inseam all the way down without shoes on, just barefoot. The inseam all the way down. Okay. Now, the outseam from where you've put in your elastic, whatever, wherever you've chosen to put the elastic as your waist okay with the waistband or without you make that decision from that all the way down with no shoes on good and the crotch as i said this is baggy pant where you put in your elastic put your tape from the front and all the way to the back and don't make it too tight okay don't make it too tight because this is a baggy pant good and check the measurement my is 15 I made it a little bit loose so 15 now 15 you have to divide it into two because of our bag we have to have more room okay so divide my as i said according to this mannequin is 15 
so subtract oh 15 is a uh, seven and a half so subtract from your front crotch subtract one inch and add it to the back measurement so instead of being 16 oh where did i get 16 instead of being what did i say seven and a half is going to be six and a half for the front and eight and a half for the back okay subtract one inch from the front front crotch and add it to the back okay now after that you add excuse me you add two and a half to three or three and a half inches to the length of your measurement that you've taken because remember you took the measurement without shoes on barefoot okay you add anywhere from two and a half to three and a half inches even three and a half is too much two and a half to or two to three inches extra for the length and then you have to after you finish sewing your waistband everything sewn together you put on your shoes whether you're gonna wear it with a high heel or loafed loafers or flat shoes okay then you ask somebody to help you do your hem okay after the waistband and everything is sewn together then you put on whatever shoe high heel or loafers or flat shoes that you're going to put on with then you do your hem but the hems there's three different ways of doing the hem okay um you can do up the front on top of your shoes okay and then slant the back or on top of your shoes and make it even all around or maybe an inch an inch and a half off your shoes in front of your shoes and make even all around okay now your away i went ahead before telling you this about your pants put it on a table flat and measure from the crotch the front seam up to your waistline but do it flat on a table and then the back crotch also from the seam measure it from there to the waist and write everything down but remember when you're taking your measurement on the pant remember that if you go with the measurement of your pant you have already added your seam allowance so remember that when you're taking the measurement measurement for your pant okay now that one is done next week we're going to start sewing it so please try to get everything together and cut it all out and we'll start sewing and you will need your paper scissors you will need your fabric scissors you will need your tracing well and tracing paper you will need your pins and also your zipper and your zipper foot okay when you cut all your pieces i've walked you through cutting your pieces over and over so i think it should be smooth and easy for you to to do it as i said so simple when it comes to this after we finish that i think i'll give you guys a break from another pant we will do this first before we do the pant because this one is more measurement this one we have to take the inseam out seam exactly like that and we have to also take the seat the small measurement with this done this because it's straightforward baggy pants okay so this is the end of the video happy taking measurement 
happy cutting your patterns and i'll see you next week okay thank you for watching bye bye for now